Uh, yeah, definitely. I play with all them witches, and right now we're at Abbey Road Studio 2, which is pretty insane. Um, uh, High Watt was n kind enough to lend us some amps, actually many amps, for the album. Uh, we're recording a full length here. And um, basically, starting out, I have a uh, custom 50 combo which I used for a month on tour uh, last December. I actually used two of them, so I definitely wanted that for the album. Um, and it's a 212, 50 watts, and it's really, really amazing clean sound. And then for the first time ever, um, I've used a Custom 100, which is even cleaner and even louder. In fact, there were days where we weren't able to record with it because it was too loud. There's other sessions going on. Um, and this uh, amp that I didn't even know existed, Custom Super High 50, it is insane. You can get Sabbath tones, Tool tones. Um, it gets really, really high gainy, which is awesome. That was what I was going for on a lot of this stuff. And then this was more of like the vintagey high gain, like graveyard, Sabbath kind of stuff. Um, and then. Also, for the first time ever, I used a 412, uh, high watt 412. And I think all of them have fanes. There's fan speakers in, in, in both cabs. And uh, it, it's mean, brutal, but also um, kind of, you can't get a bad sound out of, out of anything that you see here. Um, and then I even used a Princeton, but ran it through the through the uh, custom 50 cab, or like the speakers in the in the cabinet, um, just to get that high watt fan ish clean sound, uh, and it sounds killer. I'm really blown away blown away by this by this guy. Might have to get one. They're really cool. I want one of these and one of those. <laughs> of my lead tones were with this guy, um, with my nags. Let me go grab it. It's kind of like a SG-ish guitar. Played this guy through this, and then my Les Paul through the 100, and it, it, was, it was a good blend. Like, the, the warmer sound of the Les Paul matched with the warmer sound of the Custom 100 was great. And then this is more of like a hi-fi, like piercing guitar, which normally, you, I, th I, th I, th I thought it was going to be opposite. I was going to do Les Paul through this and then the darker amp with, with this, but just on, they all just complimenting uh, each other. On, uh, just on, uh, hey, talk just back. Sit back down. Anyway, <laughs> that's Robbie, our drummer. Uh, yeah, and then this guy um, turned out to work just as awesome in the studio as it does live. It's, for me, it's a perfect live amp. My name is Ben McLeod, and when I play guitar, I use high watt bass 200 heads, and high watt bass 200 eight, eight by 10 cabinets, and that's the only thing I like by <laughs> Ben McLeod. Oh, man. Um, okay, I mean, I can't really, I can't really top that. Uh, anyway, it's, it's awesome. It's like a it's like a better sounding Fender Twin. Imagine if like a Fender Twin was 50 watts, but was a little bit warmer, had just a little bit more uh, like mids to it. 
That's why I like it. Anyway. It's a pretty mean looking rig. Definitely not complaining. Not to mention we used amazing microphones to mic everything, but pretty cool. I'm gonna be sad to see them go. <laughs> I got like really Life sad there. Like, I was like, oh. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. Okay, cheers. <laughs>